Hello, welcome to another tutorial of Factor Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to make your custom uh, 3D logo. First, we'll start in Photoshop, we'll design our uh, 2D logo, and then we'll export it in an uh, AI, uh, in an Illustrator path, then import it again in Cinema 4D, and after that we're gonna transform it to a 3D uh, object. And now uh, these things can be used in videos as a uh, kind of watermark, a cool watermark, a 3D logo, um, turning around or flying around, whatever you might use it for. So let's start with the design. We'll grab the pen tool and uh, make a kind of um, shape like logo we want. So I want an easy logo just for a tutorial purpose. So let's design the logo. A selection the feather to zero now we have a selection we are going to trans copy this selection so first of all now we're going to copy this layer and transform it it uh -huh. Now merge these layers together, press Ctrl and then select your um, image, then press this button here and you'll see it will make an, um, it will have made an, uh, an, an um, work path. Now go, export it, path to illustrator, save it. Uh, choose the paths as work path now um, to the layer for logo now, now go in uh, let's delete this first now now you saved it go into cinema 4d merge and search for your 2D layer for logo. Your scale has to be one. Press OK. Now you see you've imported uh, the 2D. Now we have to make it 3D. So extrude, add an extrude nerves at the layer under the extrude nerves, and you see we have a 3D object. Now this is not this is already a 3d object but we're gonna fine-tune it a little bit more so go back add some color I'm gonna add a floor so 
I'm not going to add a floor, sorry for that. I'm going to make it red. So, red. Now I'm going to pre render it a little bit just to see how it looks like. Oh, I forgot to add a light. Add the light, take the light. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So this is what's happening. Now this is how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Now that you've made your first 3D, but this doesn't really look 3D. So we're gonna shape it a little bit more. I'm gonna go to caps, make fillet caps, and this is going to give it an, a little bit of edge so it looks more like 3D. So pre render it. Serve order, lame computer guys. Mm. So I'm gonna put the light also behind it. Paste. Yeah. Now this looks more like 3D. So now here is your 3D object. You can now make an animation. I'm going to show you now how to make an animation with it. So animation in Cinema 4D is pretty easy. So what we want to do is just to make it uh, a turn around like a shuriken. It looks a bit like a shuriken, so we're gonna make it turn around. So we're gonna step forward 30 frames. In Cinema 4D, everything is in 30 frames, not in seconds. So in 30 frames, this thing has to turn two times. So press the keyframe button. Now everything will be keyframed. So everything you do will be recorded. So we're gonna turn it a little bit around. And if you now release it, you see how shuriken moves. Now you can export this to whatever uh, project you want, you can place it in every video you want, just export it as an mp4. Uh, now you, have, you maybe have seen it already, but the logo at the right button was made by using this tutorial. Hope you did enjoy the tutorial and be sure to comment if you have any questions and maybe leave a like, These, they really helped me out.